How you doing? We are very, very happy. We just back from holiday and uh, so we are still making like a summery plate because today we are making this uh, avocado cream that uh, we use to season pasta. It's so, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Yes. I know avocado is not a typical fruit of the Italian cooking because of course we don't really have avocado, especially not in the north of Italy. I know that in the south there are some people that are growing them. So of course we need to buy them. And this recipe that I'm sharing today, that we are sharing today, it's a recipe that is pretty new. So we tried four or five times and all the people that had it with us were very... Tweaked it a few times as well. Yes, yes. So we decided to propose this to you today. And uh, this recipe, it's uh, based uh, on uh, avocado. And uh, today, exceptionally, because you can mix some vegetables, uh, we are again using zucchini. the zucchini from the garden and also some flowers. So these are optional ingredients, but we couldn't really, really help to do this because the zucchini are so fresh and so nice. So if you want to come with us into the kitchen, we are going to show us. you how to make this. So come, let's go. We start with the preparation and I'm going to have Asif doing the shallot for me. So okay. the living uh, <laughs> magic mix. Food processor. <laughs> Food processor is going to do, take care of the shallot now. If you haven't done so already and you're cooking live with us, get your pan on boiling for your pasta, okay? So just make sure that you've got it going. Ours is, is going now to get it done quicker. We put the lid on it, obviously. Do not add salt. Do not add salt. I've added salt to pasta water before and Cinzia's went, no, like in slow motion, okay? They only add the salt when it's boiling. This is a thing that Cinzia says to me and this is what I always do from now on. Just want to show you the ingredients that we have. So we have our shallots that are going in. We have our ready ripe soft avocados. We have our olive oil. We have a lovely zucchini with zucchini flowers on. These are amazing. We just literally picked these about 10 minutes ago. Um, we have black pepper, smoky paprika and our pasta. This one we're using is gluten free. Yeah, and it's using buckwheat. In Italy, we call it grano ser serano. Saraceno. Saraceno, okay. I'm learning, I'm learning. So I'm gonna get these um, shallots done and uh, sliced up into small pieces. Yes. Excellent. We'll turn it around and then make small pieces. Perfect. Okay. So now, that Asif has done that, we're gonna get uh, prepare the zucchini that we are gonna saute. So if you're using any vegetables, so this is the moment where you will wash your vegetables and prepare them for going into the pan. If you do not use uh, vegetables, what we are gonna do, you're gonna just use the shallot, okay? So from now on, it's optional. So we get this zucchini and the flowers. The first thing that I'm gonna do if I'm using zucchini with flowers, I'm gonna uh, rinse them. And uh, I need to, to check uh, the flowers inside and wash them a little bit because uh, there might be some guests inside. Little box. <laughs> so you guys are cooking, just put your frying pans on now. The flowers. I personally like to use them all. What I'm gonna do, I'm just cutting away this uh, bit end. You can see there's no sizzle yet. The sizzle will happen because as we are chopping, the shallots will start to cook. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread those apart. So we don't want to really, really brown the shallots, right, Chinti? No. We just want them just to start to melt off a little bit. Because these zucchini are very tender, so I'm gonna gracefully just chop this little part and then I make little rounds like this. 
If you're using uh, any other green that you have at home, you do the same, you do just little pieces. I put the zucchini in for your vegetables. If you do not cut vegetables, you just keep your shallot like that. So do not have it going too much because we don't want to burn it. you do not have any vegetable to add and you're just doing the avocado cream, stop your shallot now. So it has to be translucent, not burned. They still need to stay crunchy. If you've got something in a pan and you add more stuff into it, the heat reduces, which means it, stop, it slows the cooking process down. So you can either do that by adding vegetables like we've done today, or you add a little bit of water in to stop your shallots from cooking. So if you were doing your shallots and you weren't quite ready to add the next part of the ingredients, add a little bit of water in, it will just stop the, slow the cooking process down and stop you from burning your shallots. I checked the water, it's not ready yet, but it will soon be. So we let him boil. And in the meantime, we start the preparation of the avocado. I have a I was saying for uh, uh, four people uh, to use a two ripe avocado because it has to be really creamy, okay? So I get the avocados and I just freeze them. Cut it in half. And inside is pretty ripe. I'm happy. <laughs> let's open the other one, let's see. It's uh, always a surprise with avocados uh -huh. because uh, sometimes when they are soft inside, they are too ripe and you can't use the whole, but they are practically perfect, so I'm very happy. I stir the zucchini a little bit and I add a little, little bit of salt. In the meantime, you see that the water is boiling. So I have my little mixer ready. When I'm taking the avocado flesh out, I use a spoon and I just go in from the side. Chinsi has another way which she's going to show you now. So keep on going through. Since has a complete, she just peels it. She peels it. So I go from inside out and she goes from outside in. It's Two a different male ways. and female technique. Absolutely. Perfect, perfect. Switch the zucchini off. Don't because uh, for me they are ready because I like them crunchy but if you like your vegetables a little bit more cooked keep on cooking them okay before preparing the cream I put my pasta into the water this will take uh, seven uh, eight minutes to cook and I put the avocado in the mixer On top of this, I put a little bit of salt. You can add a little bit of salt after. A couple of spoons, extra virgin olive oil. And if the extra virgin olive oil is too strong for you, you can use another kind of oil, no problem. Smoked paprika. I put like a half, let's say two thirds of a coffee spoon. You can always add the after. Yes, it's ready. So I'm gonna taste it again. Oh, look, look how nice and smooth it is. It should be like that. What we need to do now, before we put the pasta in, is to cut in little pieces the flowers in case. This is optional. So I repeat, we had them today and I wanted to use them. So, I really like to use the whole flower. I 
We have two different cooking styles. Yeah. As you as you may have noticed so far in all our cooking events, that the uh, my cooking takes a little bit longer. With chintzias, you can get it up within about 10-15 minutes, and you can have a dish on the table. Timer. I, I take a mug and I put it in and I keep a little bit of the cooking water in case my cream is too thick so to mix it to the final uh, uh, dish. So you see that uh, the flowers that I add are practically cooked but uh, really we eat them uh, like that, really very very raw. And at this point, we add the pasta in. Yeah, the pasta. Wow. The, the shallot and your veggies. This is ready. I switch this off. We are away from the fire. The pan is still warm. You will see that uh, the avocado. If you see that it is uh, too thick, what you do, this is what I'm gonna do now, you add a little, little bit of your cooking water. Just a little bit to help all the ingredients to mix together. I'm pretty happy for the final result. Black pepper, this is optional. If you like it, you put it. If you don't like it, you don't use it. And you just put some around. I also put as an optional some vegan parmesan. I do not uh, add it because the taste of this uh, pasta is really, really nice. But um, uh, if you like to add, go for it. So this is, uh, we said that we wanted to use uh, a piece of flour as a decoration at the end. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the flour like that and put it on top as decoration. So this is the final plate. Of course, if you haven't used the zucchini or the flowers, you will have a pasta with this sauce on top. And now we're gonna try this. We're gonna have a go. This is the first plate for lunch. It's really nice, I love it. Um, the gluten-free pasta has a different texture, it's a little bit more uh, rubbery, but uh, if you have normal pasta al dente, you're gonna love it. And uh, that's it, so for today, <laughs> it done. was quick, we are done. Let okay, us guys. know if you cook the plate. Now we're gonna have this because we are really, really hungry. Any questions, anything you wanna know, messages, join yeah. our newsletter on our yes. website. Go and like our YouTube channel. Uh, all the videos are up there. Like I said, the Fritata one's up there now. So take care, guys. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Enjoy your lunch. Let us know. Yeah. And uh, we shall see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.